Whether you're an existing seller or someone who is considering starting a shop, you may be wondering, how important is it to have a defined niche on Etsy? Should you create as many different types of listings as possible or specialize in one specific thing? For those who are new here, my name is Starla Moore founder of the Handmade Alpha Academy for Etsy sellers and manager at eRank.com, Etsy's most popular SEO tool. And over at eRank, we analyze some of the biggest sellers on Etsy. I'm talking about the shops that are raking in over a million dollars in yearly revenue, which sounds absolutely crazy, but by analyzing thousands of shops, we can get a bit of direction about what shoppers prefer when it comes to where they spend their money. If you've been following my channel for a while, you likely already know that I'm a huge fan of niching. But over the years, tons of sellers have asked me why niching is so important. Why is niching better than making a little bit of everything? And are you limiting yourself by choosing a single specific niche? Before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to this week's featured shop. Hey you, thanks so much for your love and support. For those watching, if you'd like to submit for your own shout out, just tag Handmade Alphas in a photo or screenshot of yourself watching this video, either in your Instagram feed or Instagram stories. While niching is important, many sellers are confused about what it actually means to choose a niche, or they confuse industry with a niche. For example, shirts is not a niche. Shirts is an industry. A niche might be shirts for pet parents. Mugs is not a niche. It's an industry. A niche might be mugs for elementary school teachers. A niche points to a very specific type of product for a very specific type of person. And in a busy marketplace with millions of competitive sellers, having a defined niche can help you to stand out in more saturated industries like mugs and shirts. Think of it like this. You're looking for a beautiful silver necklace for your mom's birthday. Price isn't an obstacle for this purchase because when it comes to your dear old mom, quality is the most important thing. So you browse a few listings and narrow your search down to two necklaces. One necklace is from a shop that sells a little bit of everything. Shirts, mugs, jewelry, blankets, stickers, and there's no real cohesive theme that ties all of the products together. Some are for moms, some are for nurses, some are for musicians, some are themed around pets, coffee, sports, the whole kitchen sink. The other necklace is from a shop that specializes in silver jewelry. In the shop's about section, the seller shares the story of how they took an apprenticeship with a blacksmith as a teen and have honed their jewelry making skills after years of passion and practice. Between these two shops, if you are looking for a quality necklace, which would you assume is the more trustworthy business? In the Handmade Alpha Facebook community, all of my members chose shop number two most stating that they wouldn't trust the first shop to actually deliver a quality product. When it comes to building a defined niche, you are seen as an authority rather than being a seller of all and a master of none. And this is extremely important when it comes to competing in a busy marketplace where shoppers constantly compare one shop against another when deciding where to spend their money. You become the professional and the expert in your proven industry. Not to mention, through our research over the years, we speculate that the algorithm favors product consistency for the exact same reason. In our jewelry shop example, let's assume that this seller has tons of sales and five-star reviews of their silver jewelry. They use keywords related to silver jewelry in all of their listings, and they have high listing quality scores for these listings. We strongly suspect that if a shopper is searching for silver jewelry on Etsy, the algorithm will likely rank the shop that specializes in silver jewelry above the shop that only has one silver necklace. Because Etsy recognizes that our jewelry shop has authority in this niche, and that they're very likely to deliver the best product and experience to the customer. In fact, looking at the top selling Etsy shops in the world, nearly all of these sellers have a defined niche, a clear indication that both buyers and Etsy favor shops who specialize. And sure, there will always be exceptions. Anytime I discuss niching, there's always a few sellers who comment to say that they do well selling a little bit of everything, which is great. If you're finding success without a niche, definitely keep doing that. But for the new sellers and those who feel like they aren't able to compete with bigger shops, it may be time to start thinking about selecting a defined niche. And the possibilities are seriously endless. A few niches that we've seen 
trending over the last 30 days on E-Rank include personalized jewelry, outdoor garden decor, teacher appreciation gifts, car accessories, adult coloring pages, and mental health shirts. And these are just to name a few. You can sift through hundreds of current Etsy trends by surfing through the E-Rank trend buzz and monthly trend report. You'll need a paid E-Rank Basic or E-Rank Pro account in order to see more than the top five trends, but if you sign up for my free Etsy SE Oodles toolbox up here and down below, you can actually get 30 free days of any paid E-Rank plan, which is enough to give you a great head start on researching and choosing a profitable niche so you can begin generating authority within saturated industries. Remember, creating a bunch of everything may help you to make a quick buck here and there, but for those who want to generate authority and build a trustworthy and profitable brand, Brand on Etsy, choosing a defined niche is an important step. And if you feel like you need a little extra help building, not just a shop, but an authority brand on Etsy, my coaching program will actually be opening on June 14th for summer enrollment. The Handmade Alpha Academy is a nine module training program that teaches sellers how to build, market, and grow dominant brands on Etsy step-by-step. Step. In the Handmade Alpha Academy, I teach you how to define your target audience, how to use proven psychological triggers in your shop and marketing to attract that ideal customer, and how to build a perpetual traffic funnel so that you have more control over the money that you make from your business. As of right now, we are the only Etsy course in the world built on a foundation of neuromarketing, which is why we have over a thousand successful students, many of whom run their businesses full time. Not to mention, I'm so invested in your Etsy success that I personally buy each of my students a 12 month E Rank Pro subscription so you can utilize the very best tools to grow your business. If this sounds like something that you may be interested in checking out for your own business growth, I've added a link down below and up here somewhere where you can learn more about the program, our success stories, and the class curriculum. Overall, success on Etsy means building a brand with passion, authority, and authenticity. And with a little science, a lot of data, and some help from a trusted Etsy expert, you'll be well on your way to Etsy success. Cue the funky lo-fi beat.